Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful table in Excel, Microsoft Excel. So let's start the tutorial. So this is the table in the raw format. I have downloaded it online. It's a sample data and today we will beautify it and create a beautiful looking table in Excel. So first of all, I have removed the grid lines. We don't need them. And let's change the font to something more beautiful. So I've used a Montserrat font. You can download it from Google Fonts. It's free. Now let's increase the font size so that the things are visible in the table. And let's insert a row at the top so that we get some space here and increase the column width as well. Now you can see it's looking much better in terms of visibility. So now we will, you know, align the headings of these three tape, these three columns to the right so that it matches the alignment with the data. So now we will change the background color of this sheet here So select the background and we will fill some nice dark blue color here so we will kind of experiment here what looks good so that's always uh, i mean you should do try to fill different colors and see what works and what doesn't and you can study online you know various color theories like the kind of color schemes that you can use so you can use some complementary colors or you can use shades of the same colors so that's how you can try so here we have filled a nice dark color in the heading row here so i've changed the background color i want it to be more darker and now let's change the heading color here. So I have selected one extra cell on both sides, as you can see. And I think this is looking fine for now now select the first three columns first one is the blank column then the second column with the dates and third one is the region so I have filled a nice blue color here and similarly you can fill a matching color but slightly different shade in the region column so this will create a very nice you know extension of color scheme from the first column to the second column and you can see it's like a, a paper is folded uh, in the middle so that kind of effect it gives if we use a shade of a color So I'm still experimenting with the colors. I'm still testing few more color shades here and and this will you know help me get the best output. So don't get easily you know satisfied with the kind of design you've created. Just critically analyze it and see what more you can do if you have time. Be more patient try and test different things so i've aligned all the text to the middle current um, previously it was bottom aligned but now i have aligned it to the middle now we need to add some grid lines here and i've added a nice border 
between the tables sorry between the rows now we will add a nice border on the last row so let's use this one and you can see it's looking really nice now you can increase the row height as well so it's easily you know visible and you can easily read the data bold the first two columns so it also depends upon the kind of data you have now this is something new here i'm using kind of branding or messaging you can use different styles and shapes here so i've used this shape and i'm i'm going to fill a nice gradient blue gradient matching gradient and you can see it's matching with the columns and overall columns color scheme of this table so take your time while selecting the gradient and you can also use our gradient app which we have recently launched on the play store i have created it myself so it's not that you know a big app very simple and easy to use so the link is in the video description you can download that app that's called awesome gradient so you can use that app so that app generates some random gradients and you can use those those gradients to create uh, beautiful color schemes so we have created this shape and now you can add a nice text here so I have written creative Venus so in terms of design elements Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint are quite similar so but but there are some limitations in Excel like you cannot use the merge shapes option so it's difficult to draw custom shapes because Excel is not you know for designing purpose but we are testing its limits so you can place the text here so you can you know write the name of the table or the name of the report here and here you can add some subheading like volume 17 of the report or something so that's how you can do it so this is a beautiful nice table of course the color scheme is dark and nowadays you can use it you know you can also keep it in white and grays as well that will also look very nice if you want to keep it in light color scheme and also you can add some branding or some icon so I'm using this icon it looks like some kind of data so you can place it nicely anywhere you want on this table so I'm going to place it here or here I think here it will look good so yeah this is the beautiful excel table please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like download this template from the g drive link in the video description and we will see you guys in our next video with a beautiful presentation tablet till then see ya